Yo guys, what is up? Uh, so unfortunately, my game froze. It's, a, it's pretty been a, it's been a while since it's done that. But uh, it did freeze. But you know, no, it's really not really big of a deal because now I actually got some food or uh, banana bread to hold me over because I'm starving. Ugh. Ugh, I know that. Ugh. Disgusting. Um, but yeah. You can depend on me, yeah, that one. Okay. But yeah, so the hell? He's outside. Are you serious? This is Camp McCarran. Hold on. Let me see something here. Okay. You're fucking with me. But uh yeah. I just got some banana bread just to hold me over. I really needed the banana bread. Fuck it. You know what we're going to do? We're just, we're just going to wait. We're just going to wait. Why the hell does it do that? Six. Okay. Uh, well, that does that. I'm going to be a little bit quiet here and, and choose some food. So you're going to see a little bit of a quiet commentary for little, like a little bit. Not too much, though. Mm -mm -mm. Hello. Mm -mm -mm. Hey. Okay, I'm good now. That was good. This is just the last me because I haven't eaten yet, and it's currently almost three o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, who's this person name? To Doctor Hil Hildern. Who's who the fuck is Hildern? I swear to God. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Uh, goodbye. Who the fuck is Hildern? Ganon, Gambler. Okay, I'm about to shank a bitch in like two seconds if I don't find this person. Okay. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna wait more. I did not mean to activate vats. I'm sorry. Seven hours? Yes. I take another bite because I'm starving. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's find her. Where is it? I got nothing left because I can't find this damn person. Okay. Local map. Funk it. We're going to go over here. Well, 
damn, I feel like an idiot because I picked the wrong camp. Please don't mind me. Please do not mind me. I am what we call a new Rookaboober. As I take another bite. Mmm. Banana bread is the best. Actually, I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. The fuck? Please don't freeze again. Please don't. Give me another hour and 20 minutes and then you can freeze all the hell you want. Whoa, what the hell? I've never seen this place. What is this? It's pretty badass. I kind of want to go there. Dude, what the hell? What? I need to see this. You gotta make a pit stop. Or not. Oh, wait, I think that's part of a casino. Okay, forget it then. Whatever. Welcome to New Vegas. Oh, man. Oh, me. Oh, my. McCarran. Better, Better lay low on that ass riding. Oh, what oh my god. This is too good. Oh man, that was good. Not done yet, but that was just a good one. Oh shit. Okay. Ah, this guy, the doucher. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? <laughs> Lie. Yes, that's right. Wonderful. Straight to it, then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. We'll keep that to ourselves. Vault 22. Where to begin? I'm listening. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Nothing is impossible. Oh but damn! Well, oh, damn. My bad. The wasteland can yield an endless bounty, and that the secret may lie a mere few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and take it, and for that, I need you. Oh. Scientific dis discovery is never as so simple as that. I mean, with my, my mouth full. I'm talking. I'm sorry. Isn't it? One directs one's efforts, or the efforts of others, toward a goal, and progress is made. It's a matter of incentives, nothing more. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gates. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. 
Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. I'll think about it. Very well. I hope you'll consider this an open offer from the OSI. Now, I'm sure your time is valuable, so unless there was anything else... Next, you ask some other questions. Oh? What might those be? All right, actually, goodbye. Yes. Goodbye. Well, I'm going to talk to we you again. We spoke earlier, didn't we? About Vault 22? My offer still stands, if you've changed your mind. Actually, I have an invoice for you from Alice McLaffer T. From Alice? I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or will you just hear about the invoice? All right, I'll investigate Vault 22. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your pip boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Downloading the data will be handled by your pit boy. You might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. Uh, no insult intended, of course. Goodbye. Best of luck to you. Not that you'll need it. You seem like a reasonably competent person. Yay, I'm reasonably competent. Okay. Um, I was gonna do something very important, and then I... God, I have, like, the worst memory of all time. Oh, yeah. 2012. Okay, 2012. That one, that's 20. The caravan is 20 as well. Okay, cool. Hi. Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but... Did he give you a job? Yeah, ask me to find some data at the uh, Vault 22. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildren sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Then about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect. But she's an absolute genius. And, and he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? No, nope, he didn't say anything. But now he's hired you, which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley and she failed, or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich, not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc, but I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. All right, look for her. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. Everybody says that, but all right, goodbye. Right, good luck. Excuse me, hombres, we gotta go and save some chick. I'm actually gonna go return to Mick. Well, la 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 la. And then I'm going to go out and do all this. What the fuck? Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Damn it. I wish they... See, I'm getting confused now. Uh, Cameron... Crimson Caravan, I cannot speak, nor can I do anything else in life. Extremely uh-oh, uh-oh. I will take that off of your hands. Thank you for the energy weapons. Oh, good, good value, too. Thank you. Eddie. 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 Oh, there you go. Okay. 
Okay. Thanks, bro. Got to make a stop to the uh, guy there once we get a moment to the uh, gun runners. No problem, no, no problem. Muy bien. Okay. Welcome back. Thank you. I delivered an invoice just as you asked. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? <gasps> what others do you have available? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. Uh... Man, people just don't like Cass. The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes. And because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. All right, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Was there something else? Uh, uh, let's see a job you want me to do and get through me out the negotiation. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave Outpost. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Nope. Goodbye. It's been a pleasure. 